Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are some romance books that are releasing in August. I'm actually filming this video very early in July, which I normally don't do. I kind of wait till the end of the month um, prior in order to like collect everything in case I find out about some books that are releasing throughout the month. Um, but I am moving later on in July, um, and so I will not have time to film this. So we're gonna go with what I found so far. Okay, so let's get into these romance books. The first one that I have is My Alien Cellmate. It looks like a hero is like an avatar, but with tiger skin. Like literally looks like avatar, but instead he's He's orange instead of blue. Our heroine gets kidnapped by some evil aliens and gets stuck in a cell and her cellmate just so happens to be Tarek. And there is this undeniable attraction between the two of them. And it looks like they want Tarek to impregnate a female from some primitive planet. <laughs> I've read a Ruby book like that. I think, um, Bad Guy by Ruby Dixon reminds me of that one. So that one's a fun plot line. Also on August 1st, I have Secret Agent Gargoyle by Ava Ross. Ava Ross writes a lot of like alien monster romances that are really fun. The tagline is funny. It says, do I dare trust my heart to a secret agent gargoyle? <laughs> Looks like Angie has specialty beer kegs she makes and they go missing before a big brew off event. So she hires Monsters PI to track down her beer. And the one who's assigned to her case is Tuvid, the gargoyle who wrongfully accused her of a gnome theft a few short weeks ago. What the heck is this? It kind of sounds like a cozy mystery, but an alien or monster book. It sounds funny. Next is Nothing Without You by Isa Malik. This one comes out on August 2nd. Ooh, the tagline has me interested. It says, getting married for convenience to the man who once broke my heart should have been simple, but I can't stop looking at him and imagining what it could be like if we were real. Christian Hayes is the man who broke my heart nine years ago and left me begging on my knees for him to take me back. Definitely wasn't my brightest moment. Fast forward to today, Starlight, my company is under fire for a scandal and all eyes are looking at me to blame. Truth is, I don't know what's going on, but I have to save its reputation somehow. Well, apparently I'm too desperate because that's how I got to Christian, begging once again. But he doesn't reject me this time. He grabs my hand and he offers me marriage. He's absolutely insane, but I'm more insane because I said yes. And now I share a bed with him, eat dinners with him, go on dates with him, all for the public to see that we're married. But in the dark moments when it's just me and him together, he stares at me with the darkened eyes and my heart is starting to mistake it for something more powerful than a partnership. The contract explicitly states one year. I'm starting to think this isn't gonna last much, much, much longer. <laughs> Sounds cute. The cover definitely intrigued me. Homebound by Meredith Trapp comes out on August 8th. This one has been on a lot of my friends TBRs. This is a small town, single dad romance in Texas. <laughs> and she is a bull rider. So say stinking less like Yes. Then I have Forward, a rugby romance. This one comes out also on August 8th and is by Ashley Summer. This one is a romance between Charlie and Ruhan. So Charlie says that three years ago, I swore off love forever, content to live my life alone until him. Ruhan Erasmus, the charming and charismatic tight head prop for South Africa's national rugby team came crashing into my life with the grace of a raging bull. It was just supposed to be a fling, a hot and heavy tryst to occupy both of us until he returned home. In the process, he opened my eyes to a life I've never known with the unfamiliar feeling to match. I never wanted to fall in love again. So why can't I do anything but imagine being loved by him? So I've never read rugby romance, so I'm excited about that. Next is Haunted Ever After by Jen DeLuca. I just saw Jen DeLuca. I like Jen DeLuca's books and I like how it's uh, different from her Renaissance Festival books because I feel like that's all that we've seen are her um, Renaissance Festival books. So I just wanted something new. And I think that this one has to do with like a haunted house, which I'm all for. This one comes out on August 13th. Wicked Serve by Grace Riley comes out on August 13th. This is a hockey romance and it's a brother's rival romance as well, which I love, but it is the fourth book in the series. And it is like a college one also. It looks like these two characters had a secret little rendezvous over the summer, but he is her brother's rival and they end up bumping into each other when they're at college again. So 
sounds messy. Next is Second Edition by Cleo White. This one comes out on August 14th. This is a single dad nanny age gap romance. Okay, I'm gonna read the summary for this one because it sounds so good. In retrospect, it might not have been the wisest idea to hand my V card to a hot librarian I picked up at my mother's cocktail party. In my defense, the man has a French accent, gray hair, and knows a lot about books. The cards were really stacked against me. Make good choices, folks. I was probably naive to expect to call after that, but when he didn't, it hurt to accept that he didn't feel the same connection I did. If that isn't a sign you need to make a change, I don't know what is. Too bad the change I get is six months in a remote French chateau working as a nanny to an adorable little girl who happens to be the daughter of the single dad I had sex with in a grocery store parking lot. <laughs> Ellis has made it clear that he isn't interested in a relationship. Unfortunately, when you're a hopeless romantic, spending that much time with someone you're attracted to in what might be the most beautiful place on the planet, things might happen. And sometimes to avoid those things happening, you come up with a list of rules to facilitate six months of secret, no strings attached sex with a man who is off limits as a gift what could go wrong that sounds so sneaking cute i also saw some art the author commissioned on instagram like it was so good it was so hot i loved it next is take it or leave it by laney hatcher this one comes out on august 20th this is a small town romance book one in the kirby falls small town contemporary series follows the steamy romance between a grumpy former professional athlete and the sunshiny tourist he can't seem to resist. I mean, that sounds cute. This cover, I think, like, brought me in because it looks really cute. So, grumpy sunshine, small town. That's all I really needed to know, honestly. Next is Between Salt and Serenades. Um, this one comes out on August 22nd, and it looks to be a sapphic mermaid romance. Again, that's all I need to know. I'm Lost in the Current by Zoe Grace Douglas. Comes out also on August 22nd. This one is about Dakota. And it is the summer after high school. It was meant to be a week of sun, beach, and nights of parties. And supposed to be a week of getting away from her mother and forgetting her responsibilities and spending time with her friends in the tropical Arley Beach. Spending the week with her exes and brother's best friend was not what she was expecting, nor for him to ignite a storm into her world. Reese Fisher is supposed to be the one person Dakota shouldn't want or have. Baseball has been his life since he joined the Little League when he was five. It has been his one and only focus. He can't afford to have any distractions. But one night in the comfort of each other's company has total strangers by the river change that focus. Their secret meetups by the river and being the shoulder they each lean on only worked for a short while before all got ripped away. Now, seven months later, they're reunited, spending their time secluded on the beach for a week. Dakota and Reese's friendship becomes closer than ever before. No matter how much they both resist, they find comfort in each other. Like a moth to a flame, the fire is all too enticing to dance with. I have another sapphic one. This is Not Until Her by Miranda Melanie. This one comes out on August 23rd. It is the second book in a series. I have the first book on my TBR. I've been meaning to read it for a while now. And it's an enemies to lovers neighbors romance and it's sapphic so yes oh, this one's been on my tbr for a little while okay i love jean Meltzer, so magical meet cute had to go on this tbr um this comes out on august 27th this is a romance between two people who meet at a pottery class mm -hmm. <laughs> and i can't wait i hope it has like really good disability and chronic illness representation because that's what her other book that i've read has and like this cover is so hot. Like, I love it. So I, I can't wait to read this one. I love Gene Meltzer. Another stunning cover is He Loves Me Not by C.M. Nascosta. This one comes out on August 24th. He is a Naga, like, snake dude. Again, all I need to know, Naga snake dude, like, yeah. It does take place in the Cambric Creek series, but you don't need to, like, read the other books in the series. I haven't read all the books in the series, and I've been completely fine. Next is Sunshine by Michaela Jean Taylor. This is a small town forbidden romance. There's no summary on here, but it's, like, a cowboy romance small town so i put it on this list this one comes out on august 30th and my last book that also comes out on august 30th is ironling by se wendell which is a fantasy monster romance i really want to read halfling the first book in this series and so i'm hoping this will give me the push to read halfling so i can read ironling um because i think b has either read this or like knows it's really good because she talks to se wendell um because she really has recommended halfling to me and yeah like a monster fantasy book. Like it seems like right up my alley and it's the second book in the series so I need to read book number one. Keep me accountable y'all. Anyways, there you have it. Those are the romances coming out next month in August that I'm really excited for. Let me know down below if you're also excited for any of these books. I would love to know and what books you would add that I need to add to my 
anticipated release list for August because I probably forgot some. I honestly, I forget, I forget books all the time. Y'all, I normally when I forget a book, I'll put it in like the comments section. <laughs> um, that happened last time, I think last month. Um, I love Kayla Gross's books and I completely forgot about Silver Fox. Like I completely forgot about like, oh my gosh, so I had to put that in the comments of my last one. Sorry, Kayla. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Anyways, if you don't feel like commenting anything else, you can leave me what emoji we're gonna do. Let's do any beach related emoji in the comment section down below because it's, it's July, it's summertime. Anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.